eligible voters across the country turned out in their numbers to cast their ballot for the party of their choice yesterday, March 2nd, at the 2020 general and regional elections. Channel 8 News visited polling stations in regions 5 and 6 to observe the turnout of the voters. In Mahaika Burbis, the visits commenced at 5 hours 30 with the Hope Town Primary School and it continued throughout the region. A few electorates spoke with this newscast and they shared these details. Because I was a young person growing up and this is my first time I excited. It's a change because a lot been going on in this country and the new government did a lot for us. And I think it's, it's nice that a young person like me this determined my future in this country and so on. It was smooth and everything. Everyone was nice and it was okay. I feel good, I was so nervous, but after that time it will be rough. I feel good as a person. Whatever. Whatever. Cool. Collective. 60 to no. Uh, maybe so what's going on, bro? Right. Okay. Because I just want to go more. Late. Okay. Oh. Thank you very much. I was here like 5.30. The process so far is going good. Years back. Years so back. many years Continuous. back. Continuously. Continuously. You're happy with it. I'm happy with, with it. Every, how everything. Yeah. And the turnout for the time is it was open on time. Mm -hmm. It was open on time. Uh, five after six. Five after six. Me will be like, was out yeah. 25 person. Mm -hmm. And what time is now? Them, them can do 50 person for hour. Check them. For 12 hour by 50. Check them over there and go for food. Mm -hmm. They need one more person. Only one, one person to do all the um, check in there. Two white guys do a check in. They want one over there. The system extra so. Compared to the last yes. election and the other election. Ah, mm -hmm. then you get two I check your, so I check a list. The timing is very limited. At another location, Channel 8 News spoke with a man who assisted his brother to cast his ballot. Okay. I'm a younger brother, and, but he's visually impaired. Mm -hmm. So I went along with him to ensure that things went well. Pretty slow for me. Oh, okay. A bit slow, a bit slow. Mm. How long you spent? Uh, I spent mm, about 15, 20 minutes. For the process, the food in process, actually you're talking about? Yeah. Mm. Uh, it lasted about, about five, 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 six minutes. Mm. Okay. And you felt that was slow? Uh, yeah, I felt that was slow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, I voted. voted like a boss. <laughs> Let's show, show them the fingers. Vote like a Show boss. Fingers, brother. Tell you, brother. Ms. Jennifer Wade and Mr. Ovid Morrison also exercised their right to vote yesterday. It is moving very swift, swiftly. Everybody is very excited about today because it's a day that everyone is long waiting. And so some persons are here since 326. Mm -hmm. Since 326. So it's it's like we gotta get this over with today. We gotta get this over with. So it's all about anxiety. I was the fourth in the line this morning and I was here from since 410. On time the boot opened and I must say that I was fortunate to be the first person to cast my ballot. Um, but the other boots at the secondary school, which is um, Fort Wellington Secondary. Yeah, all of those um, polling stations opened on time, on the dot of 6 a.m. And the turnout seems to indicate that we will have a continuous flow throughout the day because there was lines at all four of the polling stations before 6 o'clock. By 5.30, you had a long line in each of the four polling stations. And that's it, that had signaled to me, an uh, encouraging sign that we would have a very high turnout. Mr. Faisal Jafarali shared these concerns with Channel 8 News. We have some issues on a number of polling stations across the region. I think it's working very, very slow. If you go to uh, Watu Nursery School, hundreds of people are there every day for hours. And it's going very slow. Persons um, were chasing our activists who was assisting and checking people's names and things of that nature. 
They even stole the guy the list, snatched the list from the hands of one of our activists at number five school. In Region 6, on the other hand, electorates were unwilling to share their voting experiences. In areas such as the East Bank of Berbice, Central New Amsterdam and West Kanji, the polling stations were filled with scores of anxious citizens eagerly waiting to cast their votes during the early morning hours. The rush to cast the ballot simmered down after the lunch hour, but polling stations were still opened up until 18 hours. As of now, the nation is eagerly awaiting the results that are still being collected and tallied by the GCOM officials. During the press conference hosted by the GCOM officials, Justice Claudette Singh, the GCOM chairperson, reported that the 2020 general and regional elections went well, and she urged all citizens to be patient. Narima Ali reporting for Channel 8 News.